time to try out the Matek F722 on my FX61. Nice big wing, plenty of space inside to deal with, which is great. I've got two cameras, a couple of uh, eagles, I think they are, run cam eagles. Main camera facing forward, um, secondary camera facing backwards. And first thing I've got to do is make sure it's going to work. Here we go. Beautiful, smooth wing. It's flying in manual mode absolutely perfectly. What a beautiful wing this is. So we're in air mode or acro mode now. Making sure that's all going okay, looking good. Angle mode is good as well. Nice and stable, going level. Back to manual mode. Altitude hold. Don't know if that's altitude holding. Let's try the return to home. Loiter is not working, so that's it odd. Try return to home. Return to home. That's working nicely. That's all I need, really. All right, I'm happy. Put my goggles on and uh, try the try the cameras. Got to watch out for the water. Nice. All right, let's go for FPV. Arming the board. <laughs> Starting in manual mode. Turn to launch. Put the goggles down. There we go. How's that going? Maintaining altitude. 50 metres is my set altitude. That's going well. Don't touch any butters. Loitering around home. All good. Here's a look out the back. There's the back view. How cool is that? You can still see I'm maintaining altitude. Loading around home, all going well. This is very cool. Just enjoy the view out the back for a little while. And back to the front. All right, back to manual mode to go for a bit of a fly. So, this is going nicely. Current around about seven or eight amps. Flying down towards the dog club. Don't want to end up in there. I actually did crash into there with my <laughs> canard uh, pusher and there was a, an aggressive dog in the sort of secure training compound. <laughs> but the, uh, the owner was very lovely and tied a dog up for me. Let's see if we can do altitude hold. No, altitude hold. Right. You get a loiter going. Yeah, we've got a loiter now. Want to get up a bit higher though. There we go. Should be able to loiter or altitude hold there. Better. Whoops. 
Not liking that for some reason. We're in air mode now, which is nice and calm flying. Angle mode. Descending a bit because I'm going downwind. Turn to launch and have a look out the back. This is weird <laughs> looking out the back. Very strange. I did have one problem setting up the uh, on-screen display with this uh, 722 wing board uh, using a Mac computer. If you try and change the font, it uh, mucks up the on-screen display. You lose all uh, overlays and uh, it sort of freezes halfway through. Uh, so I had to reflash the board to get the on-screen dis display back on. Uh, and it's... it's uh, I found that it has been reported as a bug on GitHub, so for the moment if you're doing this on a Mac, setting up on a Mac, just uh, stick with the default font. You can change the items and move them around and everything like that. <coughs> you just can't change the fault, uh, but I'm sure that'll be fixed in uh, future. So this is nice. I'm liking it. Need to do a, an auto trim and an auto tune and see what's going wrong with my altitude hold. There seem to be uh, possibly not enough uh, cruise throttle, maybe. Don't know. We'll find out later on. Anyway, all good. Nice flight control board, possibly with a few bugs at this stage, but I'm sure. Uh, it'll get ironed out. Love the two camera setup. Uh, the pins are slightly different to the F405, so I don't think you can plug things straight into it. In particular, the GPS, the TX and RX pins are dropped, uh, swapped over. Um, coming in for a landing now. Whoa, watch the water. Whoops, and we flipped over. Good fun. Thanks for watching.